All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at an interesting card that is essentially trying to be a remake, more balanced version of a banned card. So we're going to go ahead and look at this card as if it's real and determine if this is a fine replacement for that banned card or is this still too absolutely no broken and the banned card broken as well. So this is Pestering Imp Earth Level 2 Spellcaster Union Monster. So we're going to get some equip on uh, effect. 800 attack, 300 defense. Effect reads, once per turn, you can equip this card to a monster you control or unequip it to special summon it and face up attack position. So pretty much like, well, using Union Monsters, you equip it or you unequip it. Uh, when the equipped monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, look at your opponent's hand, select one card in it, and then discard that card. Oh, so that's the banned card that she chose. That's, conf that's confiscation. Yeah, Confiscation is a dirty ass card. Like it, it was definitely uh, in that area of OG cards, and it's banned for a reason. I mean, come on, just pay a thousand life points, go ahead and peek in your opponent's hand, and take out whatever you want. Like, oh yeah, that's totally fair. Uh, but uh, of course, and like all Union monsters, a monster can only be equipped with one Union monster at a time. And the equipped monster be destroyed by battle. This card is destroyed instead. So instead of being destroyed by card effect, it's just by battle. But uh, yeah, this is a Confiscation. All right. So, how does Konami feel about uh, peeking your opponent's hand? It is, it is a no-no. It really is. In this game of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, going, going all up in your opponent's hand is a... Mm -mm, mm -mm, don't do that. <laughs> you know, uh, We have a nice handful of cards that are banned just because you're fucking with the opponent's hand. Whether it be Delinquent Doom, Confiscation, uh, Yadagaratsu... Uh, oh my god. What a, Trap Dust Shoot. I almost forgot the name of the card. You know, just looking in your opponent's hand, peeking, something like that. And, and you know what's amazing is that some cards are up there while some cards get off scot-free. Like, I, I, you know, to this day, I still wonder, how the fuck is Mind Crush at 3? Like, think about it, think about it. With how fast this game is, with how, you know, everybody is searching, everybody wants to be consistent. And, and the thing, Mind Crush, it fades in and out of popularity, but you hit someone with that Mind Crush, you get to look in their hand, pick out the exact card, and generally they're going to search for it so you know exactly what to call. And then you get to play another Mind Crush and another Mind Crush to pick out multiple cards since you know all their hand. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, Mind Crush, I, I, personally, I still think Mind Crush should be limited, but hey, I, I don't run Konami. The card's ridiculous. But, uh, uh, this card is pretty much Confiscation. Confiscation is a spell card. It's just a normal spell card, and you know how powerful spell cards are. Especially to go first, like you, you uh, I'm not sure if you guys are subscribed to uh, Lithium 2300's channel, but uh, he is doing them uh, cross bandless cups. There's, you know, there's a couple of decks on there that are using the old super uh, banned cards that have been banned for over a decade, and uh, you know, confiscation is one of them cards where you simply just be like, all right, confiscation. Let me see your hand, and I'm gonna pick something out. So not only do I get to just, you know, pick something out of your hand, which is a very powerful effect. But knowledge is power, like, if shit, shit, knowledge is power in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Counting your resources, what cards I know, my opponent, what cards don't I know, you know? What do I have to be aware of, what do I have to be afraid of? Just knowledge is power, and, you, you know, in this game of Yu-Gi-Oh! You can't get more knowledgeable than looking in your opponent's hand, shit. I would, you know what, I would rather look in my opponent's hand than look in my opponent's deck. You know, that's how powerful it is. Because I, I, I pretty much know all your plays. I know the majority of your plays. And while the percentage goes down over time, you know, like, you know, uh, you have five cards in your hand. I know 100% of your hand. And you draw a card. And, uh, you know, uh, the percentage drops as you get more unknown factors. But... You know, just knowing it's simply just a first turn trap dust shoot or a first turn confiscation can easily win you the duel with knowledge is power. Uh, this one is kind of different though. Is, is it a is it a powerful uh, effect? Oh yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, but being a union monster, it's kind of slow. The monster has to inflict damage to you. Now I'm not justifying it. The, this card's action at all. You know, if it was just randomly pick a card out of your opponent's hand, yeah, sure, whatever. But just the fact that if your opponent slips up, like, you get to go ahead and look in your opponent's hand and pick out anything. Just like, hey, you know, uh, I have this big old monster, you have this weaker monster, I'm going to attack you. I am going to get this in damage on you. So let me go ahead and equip this uh, pestering and attack you, you get to take that damage, I'm going to pick it out of your hand. It's just, I'm not biggest, I'm really not one of the biggest fans of punishing the weak. You know, it, 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 it's, it's really a thing sometimes in Yu-Gi-Oh! And, you know, while there's some people who are saying, like, yeah, Yada Garatsu can come off banned, I'm one of the people like, no, because literally that's all that card does is just punishes you while you're down. Like, hey, you know, 
you're down on resources, you're down on your luck, you're hoping to go ahead and draw into something to turn this door around, come back into it. Uh, Yada Gratsu, tech, you're not drawing. You're not drawing at all. You can't do shit. You have no cards. You're not drawing. You're not drawing. Game. You're not drawing. It's it's fucking dirty. I, I, like I said, Lithium 2300, I've seen that a handful of times where Yada Gratsu just pokes for game. You can't draw shit. You know? So, it's, I just, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't like punishing the weak. And this card pretty much does that. It's just a little bit slower than that. But, Still, very powerful effect. I mean, if you ask me, Daniel, do you think complication can come up in? Hell no. Hell fucking no. Everybody would play it, and literally, it would, not only with fucking number generator, which would suck ass, but in tournament setting, just open it up with it. Let me just be like, all right, well, I'm going first. I'm going to play complication. Oh, oh, what? You have a freaking, you know, luster in your freaking hand? Let me pick that out, or just, you know, anything. Just, just... Let me pick something out of your hand, let me pick out your monkey board, or your skull curve joker, and I have knowledge of your hands. It's ridiculous. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> just, just a dirty card, dirty effect, get out of my hand. Hate that shit. I really do. And I, it's, when picking shit out of your hand, picking your entire hand out, that's dirty. Fucking looking in your hand, picking shit out, that's dirty. And <laughs> it's just not something that's done very often in Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, you're probably saying, like, oh, what about, uh, uh, Oh my god, what is Dark World's ca card world? I forgot Dark Dark World's card. Uh, It's not their card, but they play it. Oh my god, what is it near that card? Oh, that's gonna bother me. Oh my god. Hello? <laughs> it's like right on the tip of my tongue. It's not, and no, it's not Dark World Dylan. It's the one where they get to, you know, you look in their hand, they look in, you know, you look in each other's hands, like, what is the fucking name of that card? That's gonna that's gonna bother me. <laughs> oh, this video is already going to shit because I can't remember the name of a goddamn card. Is it like dragged down to the grave? Is that what it is? Please, please, please tell me that's it. Because if it's not, then I'm gonna feel like an idiot. Is it drag drag drag? Is it dragged down into the grave or dragged down into the grave? Like past tense? Oh my god! This, this, this yes, it is dragged down into the grave. Ha huh, ha! Huh. Fuck. Uh, both players reel each other's hands, pick out a card, and then you both draw. Uh, this card, still at three. Still at three, and really on deck to play, play it. It's because there's, not only is there knowledge path, but both lines, both players lose a card, and both players draw a card. So really, the only person who's taking the neg is the person who's playing, unless you're playing Dark World, where you get a plus off of one of your effects, depending on what your opponent pitched out of your hand. But, you know, let's say, for example, we're not playing Dark World. If I play Drag Down, I'm using one card, so I'm using Drag Down. I'm going to show you my hand, you pick something out of my hand, you show me your hand, you pick something out of your hand, and we both draw a card. You even out. You lose a card, you draw a card. I mean, the knowledge is there on both ends, which is just ridiculous, but uh, you even out. I took the neck. I took the neck for activating the card. So, uh, and you're breaking, you know, rule number one and rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> so, that's the thing, but... Yeah, the card's ridiculous too. It really is. It's just it's ridiculous in Dark World's hand. Is is it a ridiculous card in general? No, but in Dark World's hand, I mean, you know, that's just the shenanigans of the freaking game. You know, it's not dark. It's not Dragdown's fault that Dark World get to have shenanigans with it. But hey, whatever. So, yeah, this card is just really dirty. It really is. Uh, just let me see your hand. Pick something out. As long as I get that uh that uh battle damage on you, then I'm picking something out and looking too. So. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's slow. It really is. I don't think anybody would play it. Or if they would, it would probably be some dirty deck. Like, I could definitely see, like, Toons or fucking Watts playing this if it if it was real. Just fucking play your Toon fucking Gemini Elf, equip it with this, attack your opponent directly, pick a card out of Toon Gemini Elf, use this effect, pick a... Look in their hand, pick something else out, and just keep on just depleting their hands of resources, hide behind your Toon Kingdom. Or Watts, you know? Tell me your Watt Cobra, equip it with this, you know. Now, then you're going to get a search and see Watt Cobra while you're looking at your opponent's hand and picking something else. So, you know, I don't think any competitive play would ever come from this card, but some dirtiness that will ensue, definitely. So, uh, there we go. We're just going to go ahead and call it for Fight Card Friday. I think I've talked long enough. So tell me what you guys think about Pestering Imp and just confiscation in general. Like, do you think that card can call ban, pay a thousand life points, look in your opponent's hand, discard a card, or do you think, hell no, that's just a ban, the card's dirty as fuck? I don't know. You tell me. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday. Of course, I'll be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys next Friday.